And as you can see, SoundHound is a company that focuses on audio AI. So they say here that they're essentially providing solutions for different industries in audio AI. These are essentially AI agents that can take the place of employees. Here's an example of what they're doing at a restaurant where you can uh, talk to the restaurant and choose what you want to buy from the restaurant. Now, SoundHound has been extremely volatile. It looks like I entered at the $5 mark and now it's at $6 but it actually went all the way up to $9. So it essentially doubled. So I was up uh, almost 100% at one point and now it's back down to $6. So you see extreme volatility in these small cap stocks. SoundHound has a bit of an issue going on right now. So last week, two different analysts came out and said not to buy SoundHound. So one of them is a short seller named Capybara Research. Uh, they titled the report Lies, Damned Lies, and Cheeseburger AI, saying that SoundHound is a failing company peddling lies and deceptions at a price target of $1. And we're going to go to you in just a second here, Kai, but I wanted to just mention that Capybara looks like a, a lot of nothing. So this is clearly, this is their website. It's clearly an unprofessional website. It looks like a five-year-old made it. You can see all they have is a home and then a few reports that they put up here. So this is just a, a classic short seller, probably a one-man operation who put out this report. That being said, the other entity that downgraded uh, SoundHound last week is not a small single entity. This is Cantor Fitzgerald, which is a massive global financial services firm, well-respected in the world of finance. And they downgraded it to a sell. Cantor Fitzgerald says that, um, well, they mentioned some of the same things in the short report, but essentially they said that the valuation cannot be justified and they criticized the opaqueness of SoundHound's operating model. And also there's just some concern that maybe companies like Google and Amazon can do better than SoundHound in this industry. What's your take, Kai? It's very interesting. Um, so using AI to evaluate these new AI companies is um, an interesting strategy. Well, what goes into that financial vi viability for you? Is that market potential or is that potential partners, a sustainability? What, what it goes into that for you in regards to an AI company? Or That's a great question. So first of all, we're looking at an EPS trend here and earnings history. So ChatGPT pulled out that the company had a mix of quarters where it either slightly underperformed or outperformed. So kind of mixed on SoundHound. Um, but they found that the EPS trend shows that analysts have maintained their earnings estimates over the past 30 days. So there haven't been any big changes. Cash flow uh, has been negative, but we can see that they're raising money. So cash position is stable. So it looks like the total revenue is growing. So here, this is a critical point here. Total revenue is actually growing, which is a good sign. So it I is a good can, sign, but some of these yeah. new companies, it, it's, especially, and I believe SoundHound, for example, it's well, in what, the thousands of dollars, I believe, per quarter. I mean, it's not very high revenue growth. I think one of the things I particularly look at or the positives in regards to SoundHound is its partners and or... 25% of the people of the investments in SoundHound are institutional investments. So it, Vanguard, BlackRock, uh, NVIDIA are heavily invested in SoundHound, which means more than the expert, I look at experts, I look at whether some of these companies or institutions are investing in SoundHound. If they are, then I think there's a high likelihood of profitability in the future, especially in some of these digital and or app services aren't going to show good revenue growth until they eventually get established. Or for example, more companies are purchasing them to use. And then all of a sudden you'll see a large revenue growth. <laughs>